the internet, a place full of valuable and not so valuable information. But how did it come into existence? Was it the gradual progression of computer networking? Or was it created by something or someone else? Someone else, like Giorgio Tsoukalos. Could one person be responsible for the entire internet as we know it today? My research shows that it could be a possible yes. While searching the internet for clues about its creation, I kept stumbling upon the same person's face over and over. Ancient Aliens is an image macro series based on the History Channel show of the same name, starring alien expert Giorgio Tsoukalos. The documentary focuses on the ancient astronaut theory, which postulates that extraterrestrial beings came to Earth throughout ancient times and helped shape history. There is no explanation for the origin or purpose of these fantastic pictures. The image macros poke fun at Tsoukalos' alien obsession, featuring a question about a well-known mystery like the Egyptian pyramids, with the answer always being aliens. As early as November 2010, his alien repertoire became a popular subject of lulzy mockeries when it reached 4chan's b-board. Is it even possible for someone to know so much about history and aliens without having created the internet? It's unlikely. The show has come under fire by some critics for being far-fetched and hugely speculative. But the obelisk itself is putting the power into the atmosphere. The Great Pyramid was actually sending a microwave beam to a satellite. The term flying carpet was always used very liberally. You're watching the History Channel, where the truth is history. The first exchanging of food between the pilgrims and Native Americans may have been visited by aliens. Not one entry mentions anything about aliens not being there. Visitors essentially mated with Earth women. If somebody put this forth today and actually tried to have a conversation with you to say, you know, that aliens came down and had sex with them, you know, you'd think they were a nut. But what do those people know? Did they invent the internet? Probably not. Finally, I did a search for creator of the internet, and the evidence was just undeniable. The internet is a vast and complicated place, full of information, culture, and even love. Could such a place exist without Giorgio Tsoukalos? I don't think so. The only way to disprove my theory is to create a portal to another dimension where Giorgio never existed and see if there's an internet. It's just science. If I had a dollar for every time Giorgio created the internet, I'd have one dollar. What? Could aliens have been involved in creating the internet? <laughs> yeah, like aliens have that kind of technology.